Let's talk domain range and is it a function? So we're gonna take the relations and look at the first few. We're gonna do the domain, the range, and is it a function? So we'll start off with the easy part. Is it a function? I'm gonna look at all my x values. I have a one, a three, and a five. There's no repeats, so that is a function. So automatically, super duper easy there. Yes, it is. Now, when we're doing domain, all we're gonna do is we're doing very specific discrete numbers. So we put that little squiggly curly racket, and we just write the numbers in least to greatest order, one, three, and five. If they are not in least to greatest order, like these ones happen to be, then you just put them in order. That's it. And then the curly brackets. Then we're going to do the range, which are all your y values. So same thing, we're going to look at the two, the four, and the six, which happen to be already in order, least to greatest. So we're just going to write, oh, that's a terrible bracket. But two, four, and six. And that's all we're going to do for this one. Looking at that next one, we've got four, three, and four. I do see a repeating x value here and here. We look at the y's. They are different. So since they are different, that makes it not a function. So if they were the same, that'd be fine. But that's not the case. So when we're looking at the domains, we only have two numbers, a three and a four, least to greatest order. So curly brackets, three and four. We don't need to re write repeats. And then we're gonna go ahead and look at those Y values. We only have a two and a three. Again, least to greatest order. And so two comma three. And my brackets are not bracketing today. All right, last one for this section. We've got a five, a three, and a negative four. So we have no repeating X's. So that makes that a function, yay. And then we do them least to greatest negative four, three, and five. So negative four, three, five are my domain values. And then my Y values, they are all one, beautiful, nice. We only have to write it once and we just put it in that curly bracket, which is awful and terrible. But that is how we do a set of coordinates with our domain range and functions. And if you want more questions like these, find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at U1Algebra. All of them are located in the functions playlist, function notation playlist. And don't forget to share, like, follow me for more, save it for later, and I'll see you soon.